In today's video, we are exploring New York with two very special people who are near and dear to us. But first, we need to thank Quip for sending us two brand new toothbrushes and for sponsoring this vlog. You heard that right. We officially have a toothbrush sponsor. All of those days brushing our teeth twice a day has finally paid off. Either that or all of the nice comments that you guys leave in the comment section about how white our teeth are finally went to our head. When Quip reached out to us a few weeks ago, all it took was one look at my current toothbrush setup to realize it was probably time for an upgrade. I have been using a toothbrush holder held together by electrical tape now for over a year, and this toothbrush probably hasn't been updated in at least that long. <laughs> now for the last week, I have been using one of the sleekest looking toothbrushes in the world, and it is a significant upgrade, but not only because of the looks. According to this little book that came with my new toothbrush, you're supposed to brush your teeth for two full minutes. I don't think I ever do that, I just kind of brush until it feels right, but one of my favorite parts of Quip is that you press this little button, it starts vibrating, and while you're brushing, it pulses every 30 seconds, and that indicates that you need to switch to a new section of your mouth. Hold on. And after two minutes, it stops vibrating, and that's when you know you're all done. Seriously, every time I've used this this week, it feels like I just left the dentist. Not only does this little holder stick to the mirror so you don't have to set it down on any grody counters, but it doubles as a travel case, so that's all you need. We had two major hesitations to traveling with an electronic toothbrush. The first one is that we thought it would be way too bulky, but it turns out this little toothbrush is actually smaller than the current setup that I've been using. Also, we didn't want something else that we had to plug in because, well, this is the stuff that we already have to worry about charging every single day. Thankfully, these use AAA batteries, so you don't have to worry about charging them. Okay, so here's the deal. We're loving these toothbrushes. We think you will too, and Quip is offering the first 100 people that use our link in the description 15% off of their order. Quip starts at just $25 with a $5 refill subscription, which means every three months they'll ship fresh brush heads to your door and the refills ship free worldwide, which is great for us. Plus it comes with a lifetime guarantee, so if it ever breaks, they'll replace it and send you a new one. All right, let's go explore New York. Those aren't for a couple of days, so till then, we're doing some New York-y things. Well, we're not alone, there's two special guests with us here this weekend. Hello! Welcome to New York! Oh my goodness, we're over here. Our mommies came all the way from Tennessee to spend the weekend with us. We are starting the day at this place called Cat's Deli. It has a huge line outside of it, so hopefully that means it's really good. That's Ben here. Hey, that's the dude from the Food Channel. Yeah, yeah that guy. That famous guy. That, she's a famous actress. Howie. Yeah, Howie. Howie. Oh, yeah. Bill Clinton. Put one sandwich and split it. Absolutely. Oh, okay. No ticket, no exit. Everyone grab one and go inside, guys. Don't lose it. All right, sir. Enjoy your meal. Kara. Okay, so I got you down. Let me know when the fit's there. We'll get you seated, all right? Maybe okay. 20 minutes. So. Head over into a little bullpen over here. This place is crazy. So after we waited outside, we had to get a ticket at the door. He said we can't leave without our ticket. Now we're waiting inside for a table. And there's all these butchers just cutting up meat. Apparently pastrami is what you're supposed to get here. Like pastrami sandwich. I'm actually splitting one because there are two of these and I think that's way too much sandwich for me. <laughs> mm. It was worth the wait. It's worth the hype. So good. I don't even think there's anything else on here. Here, I have a 
I mean, I'll eat more. Now he lives in New York. He's our local guy for the night. Trying. to New York. I've never actually gone through Central Park. We've been walking forever and it just never ends. There's so many people outside because it feels so good and I totally see why. It's just such a calm place in the middle of the city. So I've been to New York for a grand total of 12 hours. My mom has never been here before. So over the next few days, we're gonna be knocking off some of the biggest tourist sites here in New York. And we're about to head to the tourist mecca of the city, AKA Times Square. Good thing in the name of it. <laughs> don't have an outfit for the Shorty Awards yet, even though the Shorty Awards are in two days. Nate and I did some shopping this morning. He bought a suit, but I wasn't as successful. And then my mom found me the cutest outfit ever. So I'm ready to go. Actually, I'm not. I still don't have shoes, and neither does Nate. So tomorrow, we'll be doing more shopping. Mr. Buchanan, how many subscribers do you have on YouTube? <laughs> no cameras. No cameras. Good morning from the Staten Island Ferry. It is day two here in New York and the weather could not be more perfect today. The reason we're on the Staten Island Ferry is because it is the freest and the best way to see the Statue of Liberty. You pass right by it. on Staten Island for all of 60 seconds. Now we're getting back on the ferry. I love Staten Island. Yes. Mexican food is what we miss the most when we're outside of the US, so we just have to make the most here. What
around southern Manhattan. We've gone to the financial district, Chinatown, and Little Italy. Thankfully, I bought a sweater because <laughs> the sun's going down and it's getting a little chilly now. And we're about to end the evening by walking across the Brooklyn Bridge during sunset. It's gonna be so romantic. <laughs> Apparently, we weren't the only ones who thought it would be romantic to watch the sunset from the bridge. <laughs> There's a crazy amount of people up here right now. I was here four years ago, and it was just me and a few other people. I don't know what changed. <laughs> this is helping them. Never met so many angry bikers. I think there's some New Yorkers that like to blow off steam after work. They just come ride their bike across the bridge and they just yell at people the whole time. And the Shorty Award for Best in Travel goes to... Kara Nate! Yeah. Is this line really for the hot dogs? Oh, I was about to say. No hot dog is that good. Don't forget, if you want a super cute new toothbrush that's great for travel or at home, check out Quip using the link in the description.